CBS 2's Jermont Terry live at Comer Children's Hospital where that 10 year old girl is recovering. Jermont, the woman you spoke to tonight held the little girl's hand until help arrived. Erica and that woman says it's an image that she will never forget. Now, the 10 year old's family members have been by her bedside for, since that shooting on Wednesday, and she continues to fight to recover. As that happens, the community is being asked tonight to step up and find the shooter. Days after getting caught in the crossfire, 10 year old Lamaya Sparks continues to recover from a gun wound to her back. I'm still traumatized about it. Angelica Arceo lives near Russell Square Park on 83rd and South Shore. She rushed outside that night to help little Lamaya lying in the field after the gunshots. When I showed up to her, I told her, I was like, I don't see no blood. I don't think you got hit. And she's like, no, I got hit. And her friend lifted up her shirt. And that's when I seen the bullet hole on her back by her spine. And I seen a big old lump in her stomach. Angelica stayed with Lamaya, attempting to calm her and encouraging the child to stay alert. She would just look at me sometimes and close her eyes. And then sometimes she'll be like, I can't, I can't, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I was like, you got this, you got this. Angelica held Lamaya's hand until paramedics arrived. The girl has undergone many surgeries as the shooter remains on the loose. Family puzzled by the senseless act. Especially the little brother and the sister, they were there when, when everything was going on. Of all the children in the park, Lamaya was the only person hit, shot by a gunman still on the loose. There's currently a $4,000 reward to find the shooter. If you know who it is, you know, point them out. I mean, we can't have this. We got too many kids. Next time it's going to be one of yours. Award for $4,000 runs through the weekend. The desire is by putting a time frame on it, on it. Maybe it will lead to tips and an arrest sooner. Reporting live outside Comer Children's Hospital tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Erica? Jermont, thank you.